Are they making it easier on us? Or are they making it harder? How, how many things are against us? A lot. Oh, a lot. <laughs> the supermarket's against me. I mean, when I go shopping for food, like I can't go to grocery stores now. I'm like, okay, I need this. I have to be very meticulous on what I buy. Um, sugar is one thing. I used to drink two liters a day, like just chug. Just chug, it's like, I hate, I couldn't, I couldn't drink water. No, I was telling Annie about the sugar thing with soda. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I mean, that is just a no-no. And we don't realize, I think, how important sugar plays a part, especially with soda, and I know people love soda, but that sugar thing that's in that soda is killing us. We compare ourselves uh -huh. because there's yes. a standard of perfection. Yes. And I remember when I was 14, I quit reading magazines because mm -hmm. I realized they made me feel so bad about yeah. myself because yeah. they're perfect. Mm -hmm. So I take the train to work and I look through the train car and I look for beautiful people because that's the norm, mm -hmm. you know, thin and gorgeous. There are none. We are all totally normal looking people. And if you see someone really handsome or really beautiful that would be on a magazine cover, they stick out mm -hmm. because they're odd. Right. So we have this distorted idea of what the uh -huh. norm is, uh -huh. and, and I think it's important to just let that go.